The sun is the giver of life, controlling the ripening of crops which were worked by man. Because of the life-giving qualities of the sun, the Egyptians worshipped the sun as a god. It is believed in the beginning, there was nothing but chaos. From it emerged Ra, the sun god. The sun god existed alone in the watery mass of Nun, also called the emptiness, which filled the universe. So he gave it life, of every form, which include gods as well. Ra represented life, warmth and growth. Since people regarded Ra as a principal god, creator of the universe, and the source of life, he had a strong influence on them, which led him to being one of the most worshipped of all the Egyptian gods. Egyptian believers considered Ra to be the king of the gods, just as Greeks consider Zeus. Since he's the creator of the entire living realm, including that of gods, it is believed that Ra consists of all the divine powers. He distributed these powers among other gods. So Egyptians believed that every god should illustrate some aspect of him, while Ra himself should also represent every god. When creating the world, the god created life by calling them into existence, by uttering their secret names, and summoning it out of the watery mass of Nun. But humans were created by mixing his tears and sweat. He is generally depicted with a human body and a falcon head. But at an early period in Egyptian history, Ra's influence spread throughout the whole country, bringing multiple representations in form and in name. The most common form combinations are with Atom, his human form, Kepri, the scarab beetle form, and Horus, the falcon form. The form in which he usually appears is that of a man with a falcon's head, which is due to his combination with Horus, who is another sky god. On top of his head, rest a solar disk with a cobra, which is called the Eye of Ra. It is this disk that takes a prominence in depiction. Ancient Egyptians depict the god in many forms, sometimes in full animal form, such as serpent, bull, lion, and many more. This is mainly because the god is the main source of power which other gods gifted from. But what makes this god recognizable is the sun disk. Whatever the form might be, the sun disk always rests on Ra's head. Ra's main role as the sun god is to chase away the darkness. For this, he sail across the heavens in a sun boat driving away all the darkness. Every day the god sails across heavens, and in every night the god fight with beasts to emerge back. In the morning when Ra emerged from the east, his boat was named Madjet, which translates to becoming strong. By the end of the day the boat was called Semectet, which meant becoming weak. When Ra traveled in his sunboat, he was accompanied by various other deities such as Sia, Hu, Hika, Set, and Mahen. In the evening, the god becomes weak and is taken into the underworld. When he's sailing in the underworld, he changes his appearance to a ram and travel through the twelve gates of the underworld. The god take one hour to pass each gate, spending a total of twelve hours in the underworld. Every night he encounter the Apophis, who is the chaos in its serpent form. In these battles Ra is specifically assisted by Set and Mahen. After defeating these battles, the sun god emerge from the east every morning. This is viewed as the dying and rebirth of the god by some believers. The main temple of Ra is found in Heliopolis, which is now located in the suburbs of Cairo. Like for other deities, the temple did not home a statue to signify the presence of Ra. Instead it was designed in a way that sunlight could enter, and that is viewed as the presence of the god. Inside the temple, there is a tree, which is considered as the tree of life. Except for Pharaoh, it is forbidden to eat from the tree. It is believed if one eat from it, they are granted the eternal life.
Under the tree there is a stone that have the carvings of the Bennu, who is a phoenix. The god is greatly associated with the bird, due to the notion of dying and rebirth. It is said the bird represent the soul of Ra. The bird is carved near the tree, so it signify the tree is a possession of the great god Ra. Ra was a powerful deity and a central god of the Egyptian pantheon. The ancient Egyptians worshipped Ra more than any other god and pharaohs often connected themselves with Ra. This elevated their dominance and supremacy over their subjects. What do you guys think of this story? Please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this. Please also note that there is a Patreon linking to this channel. Your support through my Patreon would greatly help me to continue do what I love. I hope to see you again with another story to tell.